Hello and welcome back Why, to The Witcher. So, we're going to the banquet in the upper floors. So, we'll see what's going on there. We should be meeting Triss on the way here as well. Oh, security guards, city councillors. Where's where the loot players were? Okay, mysterious noblemen of many kinds. Uh, ooh, we'll grab the alcohol out of there. Hey, Triss, what's up? Here we are. Wipe that frown off your face. You'll be fine. Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Come on. This isn't so bad. Let's mingle. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like she's got over us betraying her with Alvin. What's in here? We might go in there later. Let's just quick save. And have a look around. Um, who are we going to speak to first? You. Welcome to Lord Levarden's feast. It's worth speaking to him, obviously. Hey, Levarden. Geralt of Rivia and Triss Merigold, welcome. Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. Forgive me, I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. That's cool. Speak to you later, Louvarden. Merchant's wife, nobleman, security guard, Count Duet, and Ada. Um, we'll maybe speak to them in a second. I just want to see who else is here. Velorad. Ooh. Thaler. Uh, and Urken Blunt. Hey, Thaler, what are you doing here? Geralt, have you met Thaler? Thaler? Here? Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored, whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shan't be bothering you. Come, Geralt. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Hello. He looks a little drunk. Let's have a drink. Here, have some of our uh, soldier's hooch. Yeah. Um, let's have some Redanian her herbal. Fantastic. Uh, let's have a little bit of a weak drink in between. Hello. Yep, we said nothing to I each other, but now we're drunk. Hello. We'll speak shortly. Okay, hey, Velorad. Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Velorad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. Velorad is King Foltest's right hand. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster or petition the king, uh, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Excuse us, Burgermeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. You know, I think getting drunk was a very, very bad idea. Did we make any of that anti-drunk potion? Uh, I don't think that we did. I think we specifically... I was like, no, I'll never need to use that. All right, then. I will hobble over here. Uh, Dewet or Ada? Hey, Ada. Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Marigold and... Dewet, I know who stands before me. We know each other, do we not, Witcher? One could say so, princess. A princess, indeed. Though I do not always feel like one. So many duties. You could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Well, I mean, we're a bit drunk and can't really uh, focus on anything for too long. That's probably why we're staring. Um, by the way, in case you don't know, Ada is the Striga who was in the opening cutscene. And it's kind of expected knowledge about Ada. So, um, cool. Um, what do we want to do? Um, let's, uh, let's flirt. Let's definitely go for flirt. Forgive me, milady, but even the finest dress would pale in comparison to you. Mind your tongue, mutant. Duet, I will decide if and when I am offended. 
Your Highness, he is an aberration. Silence. It was a nicety. Leave us for now. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Levarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. Uh, well, good that we're not drunk, huh? Right, uh, let's go speak to Mr. Blunt. Hey, what's up? You're not as drunk as you were before. You should drink some more. There we go, let's keep going. I wonder if we can black out and just wake up. Like, fully awake. Ah, <sighs> curses. I'm drunk. He speaks. I broke my vow. I swore on a heron. A heron? Nonsense. Tala hired me to come incognito to the feast. You blew it. No scene, please. This ring will get you in the house of the night. Half price. I hate you so much. Well, we have another ring to put on. Here we go. Not quite where we were going. All right. Could have done that for half price. That would have been much better. Right, let's uh, hobble over this way to... Uh, we'll go for Velorad first. Speak freely, Geralt, but no politics. I want to ask about the princess. No politics. About the curse. Shh. I could use something stronger. Fine. Ask. Does the princess have strange dreams? How would I know? I've not spoken to Ada without one of those bastards from the Order prisons. Any strange behavior? You're awfully close to treason. I'm not asking out of want for political influence. Our sweet princess is completely normal. Well, uh, her head's a little messed up. Is she aggressive? On occasion, but not unusual for a spoiled damsel. I don't know, she's... What? Well... Spit it out. She needs a man to give her a proper lay. Right. Uh, must go. Later. Is that all you have to say to us, Valorat? I'm listening. Um... Here. Why don't you have some pepper vodka? Nothing better than a little downtime. Hey, why don't you have some more? Nothing better than a little downtime. Okay, politics? Can I ask about politics? I thought you were a decent fellow. When will the king return? Everybody's asking that question today. I tell everyone the same. He'll return in due course. I hope so. All right, then. Oh, hell, hello. You should find yourself a real woman. Everyone knows witches are barren. Uh, all right. I was going to speak to Thaler, but he's gone mi Oh, no, there he is. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I am definitely not liking this intoxication. Oh, Thaler, don't move. Don't, please, please don't run away from me. Or Enjoying Thaler. yourself? Exquisitely. Not enough food. Nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times, new customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their ass? I'm a relic. Someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Taller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I have the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. 
We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade. There will be no room for your neutrality. Oh, fantastic. I don't plan on being neutral at all. So, uh, tell me who you are. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Temerian Intelligence. I execute the King's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? Hmm. A bit of both. Both. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. They're criminal, evil. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. All right. Why don't you tell me about, you know, the order guy over there? Who exactly is DeWitt, and what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the order, he worries his dick's too small, so he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilfgaardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. All right. Why are you talking about Lou Varden? Is Lou Varden somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Livarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Louvarden, we know he heads some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Okay. Um... Yeah, what's your motives? Why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoia'tael? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. All right, see Excuse ya. me for a moment. We'll talk later. Okay, cool. Well, what's worrying is I think my eyes are adjusting to this blurry uh, world. Taller, please. Hello, Ada. Witcher, you may approach. Duet, fetch me some wine. From that page boy at the end of the room. Your Highness. We may speak freely now. Geralt, tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? Uh... Let, let's just go full on, just... Let's just flatter her entirely. I am impressed by the comparison. Have you ever tried your hand at the fine arts, your highness? I'm forced to study all kinds of nonsense, but books bore me, as does poetry for the most part. I agree. Books are for bores. Never mind. Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with foreplay, glances, conversations. Behold that witch with Louvarden. Now look to our noble Erkin and the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then, one is consumed by the desire to come together roughly, like animals. Finally, one is left with sad, passionless copulation. Velarad and Duet, for instance. <clears throat> Excuse me, your highness. Sore throat. We are adults, Geralt. 
We both know the desires of men. Mm. Yep, let's just keep flattering her. You may be right, Your Highness. Power, sex, sex, power. They both come down to one thing. Fucking others. <laughs> may I ask you a question? Go on. What is the king's stance on this topic? I mean, politics, of course. Ugh, dull. I have grown hungry, and there is naught worth eating at this feast. I tire of partridge tongues and caviar. Hmm, what do I most desire? I have it. I will answer your ever so dull question if you bring me what I most desire. Uh, I will return shortly. I shall return shortly, Your Highness. Uh, get my way to wit. I have an idea. Do you have something tasty for me? I do. Would you like some pork? No, no, no. This is for the riffraff. Ah, oh, I am so disappointed. Please grant me another chance, Your Highness. Very well. Do not disappoint me again. I need more time. Be swift. All right. Let's go see what she wants. Bellarad, tell me. Nothing better than a little downtime. Uh, what does the princess want to eat? What does the princess like to eat? Find me a stronger drink and we'll speak. Will do. <sighs> hey, hey, Bellarad. Throat's dry. Relax, Burgermeister. The party's just beginning. I'm listening. Well, I got you a drink, okay? Have some pepper vodka. Ah, much better. The princess had a hard childhood. It left her with a penchant for raw meat. We tried to keep that quiet, but... Uh... I see. Anything else? Tala's angry. <laughs> His intelligence agents scour the realm to fetch her treats. Thanks. Okay. Taller might have something for her. Taller. Tall. Where, where, where are you? Hey. Hey, come over here. Geralt. Uh, do you have any idea what Ada likes to eat? Any idea what the princess's favorite dish might be? We have to know shit like that. As special agents, people of the shadows. Calm down. What's the dish? Tala does nothing for free. Go to the next room and fetch the letter from the box with the Temerian coat of arms. And be discreet. But? Then I'll tell you Ada's favorite dish. All right, fine. I'll be discreet. Oh, oh, sorry. This pillar has defeated me. Merchant's wife, get out of the way. Right. Keep pushing these people out of the way. Gotta clear some space. Clear some space. Would you be so kind and fetch me some pate? No. <gasps> oh, it's a miracle. We've stopped Give me a minute. being intoxicated. It's still point. blurry. The blurriness hasn't gone away, but we can move at full speed. We got the note. Oh, what's this? Oh, we'll grab the book. We'll grab the lemon. We'll grab the signet ring. We'll grab the ruby ring. We'll grab the money. We'll grab the alcohol. We'll leave the pair and we'll grab the mysterious note. Why are you here? Huh? I, I was looking for the privy. In that box? Uh, well, you know, I was actually looking for a drink. Point for you. Truth is, I was hoping for a superior drink. The wine does taste watered down. I found some liquor. Try some? Gladly. Uh, alright. Well, let's try it. Um, and here, have some of uh, this Toussaint Red. And have some more. Okay. Well, I have we're drunk again. We cannot all be city councillors. <laughs> I like it. He says, I best get going, but he doesn't say it out loud. Okay, what's the mysterious note say? Uh, says, 
The cast was done according to the guidelines and the craftsman is already gone for good. Make sure all the other traces vanish. No one should be able to prove that we are responsible for the forgery or find a connection between me and your superior. You know what to do about the rest. P.S. Take care of the Witcher. Ooh. All right. And then we got a book on foreign lands. The Guardian Empire is gigantic. It was once but a single realm that went on to conquer neighboring lands and assimilate to their populations. Today, all who hail from the south are called Nilf Guardians, though some take offense as they have sought to preserve their national identity. Nilfgaard is ruled by a tyrannical emperor. He tolerates no opposition and knows no pity. Some call him the white flame dancing on his enemy's barrows. His symbol, and the empire's, is a silver sun on a black background. It is worth noting that the female ruler of the Valley of the Flowers, the sole existing elven state, considers herself a vassal of the emperor. All right, cool. Oh, we're almost there. Reach the cabinet. Yeah, sure, we'll take all that. We're, we're getting there. We're getting closer to the door. Mm, I really hope that we can get rid of intoxication again. I hate that we got rid of it just in time to get it back. <sighs> all right. And stagger to the left. And stagger to the right. Stagger to the left. Stagger to the right. Okay. We're, we're moving. We're moving. Give me a minute. We're a minute. moving. We're getting there. Nobleman, we're going through the door first. Better not get in my way, merchant's wife. Yeah, better not get in my way. Told you not to get in my way. All right, uh, we're almost there. Princess Adder is here. Thaler, where are you? Is that Thaler? I think that's Thaler. Yeah. Okay. We're almost there. How'd it go? Got it. Smoothly. Here's the letter. You'd make a fine agent. I exaggerate. A goat would be just as good. Start talking. What's Ada's favorite dish? Cataplepus. What? Some time ago, this maniac who looked a lot like you arrived in Visima claiming that nothing surpasses finely prepared cataplepus meat. You're joking. Not a bit. Since then, my men have been hunting cataplepus throughout the continent in secret. At market, it costs more than a good whore. Would you be so kind okay. Tell me more about it. How's the meat prepared? That's the Burgermeister's business. I smuggle in cataplepus, but I wouldn't know how to cook it. Okay. So I need to find some cataplepus for Ada. I need a miracle or Triss. Um, hey Triss. Well, so you know what? We're going to speak to DeWitt first. DeWitt, hello. Nuvarden has excellent Get taste. out of my sight, freak. Well, you know, it was good talking to you. Hey, Triss. Triss, Triss. We need meat. Get Geralt. Out of my sight, ah, this is important, Triss. What's important? Ada knows something. I think I can get it out of her. Really? That spoiled little vixen, well, she wants some cataplepus. Rare would be best. Are you kidding? No. Triss, could you conjure up something, please? Sorcery at parties is considered very unseemly. I'll create a distraction. I'll do better myself. What's she gonna do? Oh. Hey, Triss. Cataplepis steak. Rare for the princess. Thank you, Triss. You know I can conjure up orgasms, too. I think I Excuse prefer me? traditional methods. I'll find you after I've spoken with Ada. Uh, we should speak to Luvarden, I suppose. Hey, Luvarden. I'm busy now. I guess we should speak with Ada then, huh? Ada. 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 Hello. Do you have something tasty for me? Yes. Steak tartare of cataplepus. Raw meat with a pinch of pepper and an uncooked yolk. You know how to please a woman. It is an honor to serve you, your highness. I, need to get I shall grant you a private audience. Come to my alcove in five minutes. We shall dabble in politics. <laughs> okay, go to her alcove now. That sounds like what she was saying. This must be her alcove, the room where we stole the letter from. I wonder if she's going to be mad about that. I hope not. That wouldn't be good for us. 
Those damned elves are the worst right, of Right, in we go. We want to puke. Everybody knows elves are scum. I run into one, I'll right. have him impaled. He's liable to hey, enjoy it. Not so hasty. <laughs> <laughs> Not so hasty. <laughs> Not so hasty. <laughs> Finally, politics it shall be, but quietly. We should not be heard. Shh. Okay. Well, as you command. As you command. I should think so. Oh. Ooh. Well, mildly unexpected. But you know, there were hints. There's definitely some subtle hints in there. Oh, she took her medallion off. It's going wild. Oh, hey, Ada. So there's some magic around, or some monsters around. Oh, the monster being Ada, because she's a strigger. Uh, or she Geralt, walks. I, I spoke got with it. Declan. Okay. And? The two of you should talk. What's so worthy of my time? Don't be so quick to judge. He'll make you an offer, one I think you should accept. Sure you're not using me as one of your tools? Only in bed, Witcher. Only in bed. Uh, why don't you tell me about the gift of Lara? What's the gift of Lara? A long, complex story, but I'll keep it short. Lara Doranip Shiadal was no normal elf, more like a genetic bomb. She was to couple with another genetically special individual and bear an even more exceptional child. But that never happened. Lara fell in love with Kurgenin of Laud, a mage, a human. Lara and Kurgenin's children, known as those of elder blood, proved hard to follow. Thus, the sorcerers who had hatched the plan lost control of their precious gene. Okay. You like this party? Not finding this party dull. Anything more interesting in mind? <sighs> At home, Geralt. At home. Uh, okay. Triss, Triss, come back here. Witcher. Uh, about my identity. About my identity. Any progress? I'm still analyzing. Alright, cool. Wait, back in the... Back, wait, did we pick up our... I guess we have our necklace, but I just want to have a look. Uh, I want to just check that our necklace is actually with us. Yeah, I think it was just a cutscene thing. Okay, cool. Right, well, we'll stagger to the left and to the right and through the door and then through this door to speak to Declan. Okay. Louvarden, where are you? It's all the way Silk from there. Okay. Hey, Louvarden. Can you, can you come over here? Oh, 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 we made it. I'm glad you've come. What is it? The old saying goes... Any enemy of my enemy is my friend. Get to the point. Geralt, I urge you to change your tone. Listen to what Declan has to say. Let me guess. You have dirty work needs doing and thought a witcher with amnesia perfect for the job. Exactly. Will you help destroy Salamandra? Sure. I'll help, but it hardly means we're friends. Wonderful. It's as we've heard. All secret societies need gold. Fistek yields the largest profits for Salamanda. Our spies say there's a new Salamanda camp in the swamps. The herbs are harvested, then conducted to another base in Vizima's temple quarter. A swamp and slums again. Great. We're confident you can destroy both camps. If you discover papers, evidence that might aid us, return to me. Yes, sir. Permission to commence mission, sir. Both camps are new, without sure defenses. A simple matter for you. The salamanders would slaughter groups of humans easily. Much simpler to sacrifice one witcher. I'll return once I have new information. See me tomorrow if you need help. Triss obtained this formula especially for you. Okay. White Rafford's decoction. Okay, it restores lost vitality. That's cool. So just a flat vitality increase? Oh, uh, we want to look at White Rafford's decoction. There we go. Um, so... Uh, as it restores a majority of lost vitality. That's pretty cool. We should probably make some of that. Did we level up? No, I think we just finished the quest. We need, need time. Declan. 
Return later. Uh, all right. Well, let's try and hobble out of here. Hope we don't have to fight anything on the way out. Someone just said, uh, he he in a very odd voice. Ramirez Ostelin. Why did that pop up? Just the door is speaking to me. Hey, Indeed. hey, what's the up? Okay. Um, well, we're almost at the stairs. We're getting there. Ah, if we can just find the waitress, we can, we can just go to sleep. Okay, waitress. What waitress. nonsense. Ah, we're almost there. We're almost there. Waitress. You're different. How interesting. Yes? Any Rude. rooms? Five orange. Just for you. Okay. Right. And we're going to wait till it is noon. Interesting. going to be nice Thank and bright. Slapped. And we're not going to be drunk. <laughs> and now everything is back to normal. Ooh. Well, that's good. Well, I think it's time to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.